my name's Janelle and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make some really cute ruffled cushions. I've been seeing these 90s inspired ruffled cushions absolutely everywhere on the internet so I decided to have a go at making one for myself and then when I realized just how easy they are to make I thought I would share a tutorial on how to make them just in case you were wanting to make some for yourself. The cushions that I have made for this tutorial also have this cute little covered zip at the back which I'll also be sharing in detail how to make in this tutorial. So let me show you how to make these adorable ruffled cushions. For this project you'll need a 40 by 40 centimeter or 15 and a half by 15 and a half inch cushion insert, a 40 centimeter or 15 and a half inch zip, I only had a 46 centimeter zip but a 40 centimeter zip will work best, and about three quarters of a meter or three quarters of a yard of fabric. You can use whatever fabric you like but for the cushion I'm making in this video I'm using a second hand cotton bed sheet. Using a water erasable pen and a measuring tape, mark and cut out one 40 by 40 centimeter or 15 and a half by 15 and a half inch square, one 30 by 40 centimeter or 12 by 15 and a half inch rectangle, and one 15 by 40 centimeter or 6 by 15 and a half inch rectangle. For the ruffle, also cut out one 15cm by 4m or 6 inch by 4 yard rectangle. You may have to cut it out in multiple pieces and then stitch them together to make the 4m length of fabric like I did. So all up you should have the following pieces. First let's attach the zip. Take the larger rectangle and press one of the longer edges in by about 1cm or half an inch. Then with the right side of the zip and the fabric facing up, place the folded fabric edge up against the teeth of the zip. Pin the fabric in place, making sure the zip can still open up smoothly. And you should have something that looks like this. Place your zipper foot onto your sewing machine and open your zip slightly before you start sewing. Then stitch the zip in place by lining your zipper foot along the teeth of the zip. When you get to the zip slider, simply place your needle down into your fabric, turn your fabric and then zip the zipper shut to get it out of the way to be able to continue sewing easily. And your zip should be attached nicely to your fabric like this. Next, take the smaller rectangle and this time press one of the larger edges in by about two and a half centimeters or one inch. Then with the right side of the zipper and the fabric facing down, place the zip onto the folded fabric. Pin in place, making sure the folded edge covers the zip entirely like this. Then stitch the zip in place, again lining up the zipper foot along the teeth of the zip. And you should now have a square that is the same size as the other square of fabric with a nicely covered up zip in it like this. Now to make the ruffle. If you weren't able to get a full 4 meter or 4 yard long piece of fabric for the ruffle, start by stitching together your multiple lengths to get a complete 4 meter piece. Once the fabric is gathered into a ruffle, you won't be able to notice the seams at all. With wrong sides together, fold and press your length of fabric in half. Then fold your length of fabric into a loop and stitch the two shorter raw ends together. Change the stitch length of your sewing machine to the longest possible setting and then sew two rows of gathering stitches along the raw edge of your folded fabric. Then gather the fabric by gently pulling on the threads until your fabric loop measures the same as the outside edge of the 40 by 40 centimeter or 15 and a half by 15 and a half inch square. Once fully gathered and with right sides together, sandwich the ruffle between the two fabric squares by lining up the raw edges and pinning the three layers of fabric together. <music> then 
Then stitch around the entire edge like this, making sure that your zip is open slightly to be able to turn your cushion cover right side out once it's done. The thickness of the ruffle does make this bit difficult to sew, so I recommend using a heavy duty needle for this part just to make it a little bit easier to stitch through these thicker layers of fabric. Once stitched together, trim away the excess fabric. Then turn the cushion cover right side out and use a seam ripper to remove any of the exposed gathering stitches. Lastly, give the ruffles a good press with an iron and your lovely ruffled cushion cover is complete. Simply squeeze your cushion insert into the zipper opening and you have yourself an adorable ruffled cushion with a nicely hidden zipper opening in the back. video and if you have a go at making these cushion covers for yourself then I would love to see them so be sure to tag me at Rosary Apparel when you share your photos on Instagram and if you enjoyed this video be sure to give it a like and subscribe to this channel for more DIY videos like this one. Have a lovely day and thanks for watching!